what game that you get on? Is it card or read? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG? Cause I know what them elf girls need From WoW to Emmy I'm going 30 hours online straight now You make it hard to leave Bring to me to learn Do you speak my language? Your elf ears don't need explaining All I really need for you to do is Just please Talk nerdy to me Talk nerdy to me How about new? You crazy Dutch bastard! Talk nerdy to me. What? Get nerdy with me. You name all twelve of the dots, I can't resist that. Oh. And what's the core in your wand? I think that Oz match, cause I know with me you get sore. Durm strength to Hogwarts. I'm pretty sure I'm me who cast a curse, girl. At the Imperious World. Bring to Comic Con, hope you speak my language. Your Harley Quinn don't need explaining. All I really need for you to do is just please talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. Clan tag, bring a high KD. Cause the headshots we'll be making, we'll be tapping the team. Or Magic the Gathering, deck on deck. deck. Like Twilight, yeah, I ain't touching your neck. neck. I got nerd friends, but the friends with respect. I can qualify a man without breaking a sweat. And I wanna hear issues, yeah, I'm talking about your comments. Cause the fact of the matter ain't no go better than a girl that talks on electronics. For us to get along, just tell me Lucas got it wrong. Cause clearly in Star Wars, the first shot was made by Han. Love the Enterprise, now I speak the language. You what I don't need explaining. All I really need for you to do is just please talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. I can sell. Talk nerdy to me. Welcome to the campaign. I'm about to put the party in the fast lane. Bring pain to the divine and arcane. Go hard like a bard on cocaine. Unchained, I'm a PC's nightmare. Better believe I'm prepared to go there. Bar fight with 71 bugbears. Put your DPR in a wheelchair. This is the way that it goes, everyone knows I keep them up on their toes, I never run out of foes So I suppose you should be practicing those Put a quest up in the northwest, railroad you to the southeast Won't develop a good storyline for like three sessions, at least I don't really wanna kill you, but the DM gotta do what the DM gotta do And if he gonna be coming with an attitude Let me remind you of all of the latitude I've been allowing you You're ungrateful, y'all don't really wanna see me get hateful don't nobody want to see me get ridiculous and do another TPK. Dice, quality, clean. clean. Ice all up on my screen. Green. I'm nice until I get mean. There's no in-between. I'm a machine. Look, I could put all of you into a castle full of a thousand chests. And one of the chests contains an item required for you to continue the quest. And all of the other unopened containers are mimics and traps. So you'll have to open them all to recover the item, which is a map. That will lead you into a complex dungeon with enough gold to make the whole team rich. rich. But you better be ready to go to battle with a demon lord and a lich. So don't bitch when I give you a puzzle to put a muzzle on your tendency to do it. I can't I'm a character for knowing the reason that I think that it needed a better name. This game oh, was a look mistake. What I, stepped I think I'm gonna into. need to take a little break. That's it. I'm done. Goodbye. Oh yeah. Rocks fall. Everybody dies. 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 Beside you, your nerdy best friend.
dreams and the DM to guide you and they rise from the flames for the battles ahead villains beware cause you're about to be dead they got magic and flair they got falchions and cunning they don't see over there there's a monster and coming Inspiration is waiting, rise up, don't think twice Put your fate in your hands, take a chance, roll the dice Good afternoon, people. It's Saturday. It's pretty much 2 p.m. in the UK, which means it's time for one thing. Some mother fluffing D and D. Ah, oh, I hope you guys are ready for this. You guys don't know 
what is in store for you. I don't know. The players don't know. No one knows. That's what makes this so exciting. Um, because we're going to go. Who knows where we're going to go with this? I've got a plan of where we're going to go. But as we saw in the last D&D session, who knows if we're going to go there? Um, hopefully we're not going to consider slaughtering an entire village this time. Um, but with these sorts of players, who knows? Um, so, yeah. How is everyone doing, though? How is everybody? Do it. Kill them all. It's always tempting. Uh, no slaughter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, how is everyone doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Um, I'm going to go through and get the village burned to the ground. Moz, we're not there yet. I mean, we probably, we, we very well could get there, but we're not there yet. Um, <laughs> welcome in, Moz. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, Moz. It was a small village. <laughs> it was a small village. The village is a little bit bigger in this one, so... Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so who have we got today? I'm sure you guys know who we've got. Um, we've got, um, all of these guys have played with me before. So I'll just say that they are returning players, which should show you that they are big deals in my book because I only bring back the best. But we have Mr. H Holy Sea Biscuits himself, Mr. Alex. We have Mr. Big Nelly. And of course, the pièce de résistance for today's one shot is the one and only Twitch partner himself, the king of indie horror games, Mr. Ghost Kai. Uh, that was a perfectly timed shout out there, Mads. Perfectly timed. Um, we are doing a campaign called A Wild Sheep Chase. It is a pre-made campaign that I have tweaked in places for our guys. Um, so... Let's go over. Let's say hello to the guys, and um, let's see. Let's see if, if if they're ready for what we've got today. So we're going to change up the music. We don't need any BDE, but we're going to go for some nice tavern music because we're going to start things off nice, nice and friendly. As as we pop over and we say, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, players. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are we doing? Are we pumped? I'm a little bit giddy. Yeah, I'm a little bit excited. Oh, <laughs> I am. I'm string vest. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm ready. I've been preparing the whole week for this. <laughs> awesome. So let's head over to the screen. If I've got all the buttons and they're all working. Ah, oh, look at this. Uh, let's clear all the testing down because you guys don't need to see that we've been doing testing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's go through the characters we've got. Uh, our first character to talk through, uh, we'll go from top of the list and work our way down. Starting off is with Kai. Kai, would you like La to introduce yourself? Myself or my character? I mean, either way. Do you want to introduce your character and then and then plug yourself? Yeah. Oh well. I listen. Listen. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's, I, not, I, it's not late enough in the day for that, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of wine last night. Listen, um, <laughs> right. So uh, today I will be playing the character of Kai, who is a paladin. Shock horror. However, I've gone for a bit of a twist on the on the paladin uh, notion. Usually they have a divine deity, which they divine their powers from through acts of devotion and servitude. Well, our deity is Queen Moz, the Divine Queen Moz. Um, there is a backstory on there which is quite long-winded, but honestly it will take me about five to ten minutes to read out, so I won't do that. But yes, we worship Queen Moz, we're a good boy, we we big tanky boy, and uh, we're here to have some fun. Uh, and as for me, well, I, I you know, I, I'm just an, an idiot on the internet really, that's, that's me, that's what I do. <laughs> I think that could be summed up for a lot of us, in fairness. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. K Mr. Kai, as I shall now refer to you. Um, next on our list is Mr. Nelly. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I will be playing the character of Nelly Stormrider today, a uh, human cleric 
who uh, grew up in a very small village, and the village was affected by um, a plague. Uh, Nelly prayed to the, uh, the the deity of Pella, the Dawn Father, uh, who then bequeathed his power of holy onto Nelly, who was then able to cure the village uh, and abandon all all evil um, and let the light in. Uh, and then cured the village and saved everybody. From that moment, he knew it was his calling to, to be the, a cleric of Pelor. Uh, so he then set out to, to embark across the world, and that's where he met up with some like-minded adventurers, uh, where they would go on adventures to uh, share the vision of a brighter world. Um, and if you don't know me, uh, I'm Big Nelly. Uh, I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, uh, and it's good, it's good to be here, and it's uh, I, I probably know most of you anyway. But yes, yeah, so you can come over and check out my channel, and we play a variety of games. Um, and yeah, it's bloody good to be here, so thank you. Thank you very much, Nelly. Uh, and last but very much not least, we have uh, Mr. Ermin. Well, hello. So I am playing uh, Ermin Ravenblower, a human wizard. Um, he was born in Cormier, unfortunately, to a disgraced local noble family. So, uh, you know, young Ermin showed a very, let's say, an unquenchable thirst for arcane knowledge, which obviously attracted the attention of the Korean War Wizards. However, because of his family history, he could not find the necessary sponsors to become a War Wizard. So instead, he was taken across the Dragon Reach to... Um, hold on, let me check my sheet. Okay. To uh, the city of Procamper, where he, uh, you know, he went with uh, Okmanite lore master and he joined the clergy there, but obviously he had no no real care for religion. Instead, he spent his days just becoming a sage within the domes of reason. Um, and, you know, as he intended, he did not have any intention to become a lore master himself. He eventually left the clergy and set out on his own as a wizard to seek knowledge through the rest of Aaron. As for nice. me, as for me, I will tell you, you don't know me. I'm just a random. None of these people know me. I just uh, crashed the, the stream. <laughs> Uh, but I'm also Holy Sea Biscuits on, on Twitch. You can find me on Ghost Guys uh, Twitch chat or Discord. I'm just Ghost Guys Minion. Ghost Guys Minion. Just throw. You're you're also a very very talented uh, musician, should we say as well? I think that's fair to say. Oh yeah, I I, I make some tunes for Ghost Guy every once in a while. <laughs> I feel like Did I've you... done a disservice by not not talking about my character more. You guys have killed it. I feel I feel like I've let you down now. I mean, you can you can spend a min another minute or two if you want to to let the people know. Shall it, yeah. it is a timed minute, and I will be counting. It, it is a timed minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's, every it's... second you go over, you lose health points. All right, we're gonna speed run it. Ready? <laughs> he is a half elven paladin who grew up in the forest under the the. The kingdom, the rulership of the benevolent Queen Moz, God Queen of the universe. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, he found his way into her honor guard after saving some villagers from some bandits. She likes his devotion. She likes his beard. She likes his style. So she has granted him some divine powers, a, a tiny slither of her divine essence. And she sent him out into the world to go and protect others. And if he fails in this mission, well, she'll strip it all away. And that, that, that's a nice summary, I think. There we go. <laughs> Very we, nice. We serve my yeah. wife. <laughs> that's someone I can follow right there. <laughs> just just whatever you do, be careful where you put the cream in the fridge. Uh, um, oh. <laughs> I, I had to bring up it once. Um, so where do you guys find yourselves? That's, that's the question. Um, so currently you guys are, you're sitting, you're having some drinks in a tavern in a village called Elmsworth. Uh, nestled at the base of a giant hill, the quaint village of Elmsworth spreads out in a patchwork of cobblestone streets and charming half-timbered houses. The heart of the town is a bustling main square dominated by weathered statue of a local hero, surrounded by various small shops and market stalls. The gentle hum of conversation fills the air punctuated by the occasional laugh of children playing near a small shimmering pond. To the east, there's a modest inn with a sign depicting a cheerful fox stands welcomely, its chimney releasing a thin wisp of smoke, and the village's perimeter is marked by just a low stone wall sporadically interrupted by wooden gates. Um, beyond the wall of a 
expanse of forest looms hinting at mysteries yet to be uncovered. Uh, so what we will do is we will pop into the village tavern where we find our three adventurers sitting and having a drink. Behind the bar is Thulden. He's a burly dwarf with a thick braided beard greying at the edges, wearing a leather apron stained with various alcohols. Um, and he's there to just ensure these boys have got as much food and as alcohol as they can carry in their stomach. So you guys, how's how are the drinks and food going down? Fantastic. I think we should order another round. Yeah, I, I'll get this one, boys. I'll get this one. And uh, I'm going to go over to the bar. And because I speak Dwarvish, I'm going to converse in Dwarvish. <laughs> Good lad. Good lad. And I'll say, uh, a glass of wine for my wizard friend, another pint of ale for the cleric. And I'll have another cranberry juice, please. <laughs> ah, a true speaker. I knew there was something about you I liked. Um, but can I offer some different thoughts of drinks that uh, you might want to taste? I've got some golden barrel ale, some crystal clear gin and some sunburst wine. But if you're looking for something special, I've just had a shipment in. Oh, you'll love it. It's a shipment of mead from this place called Silverwood. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. It's a pretty rare and has a unique taste, said to be infused with the very essence of the forest. If you'd like a try. Silverwood, that's mm. my home. I, absolutely. I, I would love to, to remember the glades and the divine presence of my queen. Please, you, that's, you I don't? must try that. Forget the cranberry juice. <laughs> oh well this one's on the house then sir here's here's the good stuff for you and the other bits for your friends i'm sure they'll enjoy it enough and seeing as you guys are friendly adventurers here's uh some more fresh bread for you to 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 wash it down with oh lovely thank you very much my friend and uh i'll uh, leave a couple of coins on the table as i take the food back to my friends oh it's very much appreciated sir while all of this is going on, I've got no clue what they're saying. So I just I'm lifting my eyes off my book and like side eyeing them and just thinking, what is wrong with this pair of idiots? And just like go back to my book, like literally just ignoring. <laughs> well, here's the drinks, guys. And look, he's chucked in some bread as well. Can I interest you in any alcohol from my home, like my home village? <laughs> oh, we must delight in the bouquet of the forest. <laughs> How many have you had now, Mr. Kai? Too many, let me tell you. That's why I was on the Cranbridges. <laughs> Thank you, Kai. May the Dawn Father bless us all. Yes. Thank, so, you. Thank you. <laughs> so amidst the gentle hum of the leisurely afternoon, uh, you find yourself obviously savouring this drink um, until the day's tranquility is abruptly interrupted. The distant sound of clattering hooves grows louder, mingling with startled exclamations and an unmistakable frantic bleating. Before fully grasping the situation, a sheep bursts into view, heading directly towards you. At first glance, it appears like any other sheep, fluffy white coat, contrasting black face and distinctive curled horns. Yeah, what sets it apart is the elaborate scroll in its mouth, an artifact that seems out of place with its unassuming... Oh, sorry about that. Sensing the magical aura among your group, the sheep approaches you. Um, it nudges forward, presenting the scroll, ready to relinquish it to anyone willing to look closer. Seems we've made a new friend. Is, um, is anyone following the sheep in, or is it just the sheep? It's literally just the sheep. Hello, little fluffy friend. Would you like to sit with us? <laughs> As he uh, kind of takes a seat next to you, looking up at you with his big sheepish eyes. Would you care for some bread? He doesn't really seem interested in the bread, more trying to sort of offer you this scroll that's in his mouth. I, I see the scroll and obviously I must have it. 
because it's a scroll. So can I like put my hand out and see if the sheep will just drop it? You, you offer your hand out. The sheep excitedly jumps onto the table over to you and drops the scroll in your lap, now standing on the table, knocking drinks and sending food flying. You can see he's very excited about this. Yeah, I just get smacked in the face for, with some bread and I just, I'm just like, wow. Uh, so I take the scroll and do I know what it says? Can I read it? Upon closer inspection, a wax seal reveals the scroll identity. It's a scroll of speak with animals modified. As you announce this discovery, the sheep nods and bleats eagerly. Um, so it, it's modified. Do I know what what that means? Um, so you'll know just from experience that it's it's the standard uh, scroll of speak with animals, but someone's made a change to this scroll. Uh, but that's all you know. You you don't know what the change to the scroll is. But the, the sheep is now proper in your face, eagerly waiting you for, to open and read the scroll. Uh, I just I just hold her back a little bit and I just check with the guys and I, I ask them, shall we shall we find out what's what what you want? Uh, Ermin, I I believe this has got your name written all over it. This sounds like it's right up your street. Yes, I'm much too invested in my drink. Uh, you can crack on with the sheep. I'm just I'm so excited. It's it's a spell. I'm so excited. So I, I will use I will use the, the scroll. As the words are read aloud, an enchantment envelops the entire group. The once ordinary bleating of the sheep transforms, and in its place emerges a voice, cultured and tinged with an elven accent, though not without the occasional sheepish bleat. Ah quality at last, a gentleman! I am Fenthir Shinebright, a wizard as well, a rather precarious situation. Uh, I sense the spirit of adventure within you all, and I am in great need of your assistance. A treacherous ordeal has led me into seeking your aid in reclaiming a potent magical artifact that is in the clutches of a deranged and possibly unhinged wizard. Um... But as he prepares to delve deeper into his tail, a chilling howl pierces the air, casting a shadow over the doorway. Um, the distant howls and shall shouts grow more pronounced, accompanied by a chilling occasional scream. The disturbance is soon become evident. A hulking half-orc, exuding an aura of menace, aggressively, aggressively walks through the door. Ahead of him, three imposing wolves with iron collars and discerning eyes pave his path. Looming behind is a massive figure cloaked in tattered brown, each step causing a distinct thud reverberating around the tavern. Locking eyes with your group, the half-orc strides forward, his hand casually resting on the hilt of his um, greatsword, and in a gruff tone he declares, That sheep belongs to Master Noki! He wishes it returned. As the group kind of take a big step towards you. Do um, I get it? I was going to say, is this scroll still in effect? For, for you three, yes. And you, you see the sheep now terrified. His, his once excitement is suddenly gone and he is now terrified by these guys that have turned up <laughs> to the point of he has started to back away towards the wall and almost more towards... Um, Ermin. I'm uh, gonna get. Oh, sorry, go on. I was just gonna say, do I get a chance at all to just, you know, grab the sheep and sort of try to bring her into my lap underneath the table? Sure, and then as you do it, the sheep happily goes with you and is now hidden under the table Thank with you. you. Be ready, my friends. I don't feel that this is going to end well. Um, gonna, I'll get up from my chair and I'll start walking towards the half orc. Give me the sheep back! As he's sort of barking at you all, looking around, see which one of you is going to give him his sheep back. Uh, I'm just going to say to him, what does this Noki want with the sheep? 
It is his shoop, it's his property. It escaped and we've come to retrieve it and take it back. Can you I... Don't... You don't look like a shepherd to me. No, but I'm the one who chases them down when they escape. Now, give him... Your wolves look hungry. When was the last time you fed them? As he now sort of squares up to Kai, looking slightly down on him as he is a bit taller being a half-orc, and you went, that's none of your business. Now with an extended finger, prods Kai in the chest, pushes him slightly, going, give fuck sheep. Uh, before anything happens, is there a door I see on the tavern, so across from the room behind them? Uh, there's a door leading into, so you can see there's some stairs leading up. There's a door at the back leading out to what you assume to be the, the back of the bar and then the one door that they came in. Can I, uh, you know, the door that goes back to the bar, can I use a uh, minor illusion to create the sound of, of a sheep? So a ba behind that door. Uh, you can do, but they've already seen you with the sheep. Fair. <laughs> uh, and they know that you have the sheep. And every, every kind of second that passes, this this orc is looking angrier and more pissed off, and the wolves are slowly moving towards the last known location of the sheep. Obviously, you've got him hidden under the table now, so they can't exactly see him, but they know roughly where he is. Um, I would like to speak to the wolves. Okay. And um, I, will, I will address all three of them in turn, uh, at the same time, rather. Take one more step, pups, and it'll be the last step you ever take, and I'll wear your hide on my back. So one of the wolves kind of turns to look at you now. The orc now looking at you really confused, thinking, what the fuck is this guy growling about? Because <laughs> uh, obviously all he had was just you just speaking wolf. Um, but he kind of, again, he, go, he goes and gives you a bit of a shove now, so you now, you know, you take a step back, Luckily, Nelly's behind you and sort of, you know, props you back up. And you went, shoot, last chance. I'm going to oh. talk to the wolves again. <laughs> <laughs> one, of them is, one of them is looking up at you, strange, not, you know, thinking, what the fuck is this guy talking about? You know, people I'm, don't I'm, talk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say to the wolf, if you help me defend this sheep... I will make sure your belly is never empty. And I'm going to try uh, and try and turn on persuasion. The... Okay. Just, just quick. Can I, can I um, roll guidance before that persuasion check? Yeah, Ooh. go for it. God, I love clerics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I will, I will cast guidance onto, um, onto Ghost Kai. Yep. Oh, sorry, Thank onto Kai. Thank you. So that's an additional, was it 1d4? D4. 1d4, yep. yeah. All right, so I'll roll the persuasion and then we'll add it on afterwards. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I mean, it's 24 without the persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. The wolf Hang. does. Oh, no, <laughs> the d4 as well. <laughs> there we go. It's a 20. <laughs> I mean, you've backed me really into a corner here. Um, the wolf now does that dog thing where they kind of look at you and they, they tilt their head um, that we've all seen dogs do, and it's bloody adorable. And you can tell that he's kind of listening to you now. Um, but as he does that, unfortunately, Guz takes a swing at you, um, which leads us into combat. Uh, which give me a second because i got to click some buttons now um so if you would like to all roll your initiatives please i don't know which sheet to look at i've got two sheets <laughs> open. Uh, there we go Awesome. Ermin, just need your initiative when you get a second. It has been rolled. He got a 19 on the chat. Oh, okay. It's not updated here. I will update that. You can say you got a 19. No, no. I'm, I'm 19. Ermin is, is 9. 
a seven. Nine. Yes, seven. Seven. seven, seven, seven. <laughs> um, Kai, why is it saying you rolled a... Z oh, because you've got a minus one. Did you roll a one? Uh, no, I rolled an 11, actually. Yeah, 10. So it should be 10. Oh, okay. I don't know why that didn't update <laughs> properly. Um, but um, the orc did get a swing at you, so unfortunately he's going to get an attack of surprise on you. Um, oh yeah, I know, right? As he... I would, I'll tell you what, we'll do it with disadvantage if I can. I am... Um, because obviously you were standing very close combat with him. Um, and I need to turn off public roles. Um, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you rolled a 20. Uh, sorry, a 10. Well, that does not hit. Does not hit. So, yeah, so he, he goes to grab his his, his greatsword from, from behind him. You obviously you realize while you're in deep conversation with this with this wolf, you see him at the corner of your eye, and then he takes this surprise swing at you. But you're like, nah, ah, ah, buddy, you know, and able to to sidestep it. As we, we then go. enter combat, and it is, uh, it hasn't come up, but it is Big Nelly's turn. Hello. Uh, right, I would like to go straight in and. Um... And, and attack this this orc, please. <laughs> go, go you for do it. not. You do not attack my friends. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a, a, <laughs> the um, cantrip sacred flame um, on him, which is a 60 foot cast. So if I go to cast that now, and you can do this with Kai in your way. Uh, I believe uh -huh. so. Uh, um, it descends on creature. Uh, yeah, it descends on that creature. So it's a uh, okay. Um, uh, and is it yeah. is it a DC save, a DC 15? It is, yeah. Um, do you know which... Uh, dex, sorry. Yes, yeah, dex. Uh, yeah. Dex, saving throw, normal. He rolls a 9. So he's taking four, 14 radiant damage, is he? Yes, please. Awesome. Um, oh, hang on. No. Oh, well, 13, please. Not... <laughs> yep. Uh, his hit points were wrong. You're supposed to have them. I'm going to. i uh, showing you everything, isn't it? Three. Um... 69. Three. <laughs> this token wasn't set up properly. Uh, so, <laughs> 14. That was then 60. 64. Awesome. Right. Um, cool, thank you very much. Is is that it for your turn? Uh, that is it. Why is Guz done a runner? Uh, I don't know. He's scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> He's regretting his choices him? now. <laughs> He's regretting his choices. Uh, that's that's it for me for the moment. Thanks. Awesome. Um, then we move to uh, the first of the wolves. It's this wolf. Uh, and Ermin, as you are hiding the wolf, he's going to take a step forward. Uh, and uh, why are you doing this to me now? He is going to. He's going to take a bite at you. And he's going to bite you for. 11. My AC is 12. That's not it. Awesome. And also, uh, I do have. Uh, I can use the spell as a reaction. Can I? If you want to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, never mind. I'll keep it because I have to target that specific creature. So I'll keep it for now. Yep. No worries. Uh, I just had to recreate the wolf quickly because for some reason he wasn't. There we go. So after him is the next wolf, which is the rhetorical wolf. No, it's the upbeat wolf. So this is the wolf that you were charming, Kai, and he's kind of looking up at you now, as if he's waiting for an instruction. Oh, well, well. Do I have to wait till my turn, or? Uh, no, you can give him an instruction now if you like, because he, he's actively listening for you. Uh... Just, a, just, a, just a point at a target you want him to go for. He's a trained... He's a trained killer. Is he the goodest boy? Okay, um, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just nod towards Guz and say, 
Get him. Cool. He takes a step towards Guz. Um, oh, and he doesn't as well. Okay, and he takes a bite at Guz. You've got me attacking myself now. <laughs> um, the power of words. For a... And it hits. Uh, and he's then going to do... Yep, he hits for damage, and you see Guz then take take a hit from the wolf, and he's and he's really shocked that his his own uh, wolf has now attacked him. Uh, as we move towards uh, Kai, your turn. Oh baby, um, cool. Let me think here. Oh nice, I, I forgot that pops up. Sorry. Yeah, I really like the animation. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, uh, I, no, I'm not going to talk to any more wolves. I'm going to do something <laughs> now. As, as tempting as it is to to talk to more wolves, uh, I will actually uh, take an actual attack here, I think. Um, I would like to um, swing my warhammer at Guz, please. Go for it. So I've got this big, this big warhammer on my back. It seems a shame not to use it. <laughs> 19 uh, I'm going to say 19 hits Nice uh, I'm currently holding it in one hand In my other hand I've got a shield So I'm going to do it with the lower Variation of damage Yeah, go for it That should come through now So one hand, so that's 6 damage mm -hmm. Nice Anything else uh, for this turn, sir? Um, no. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so then it's Fenethir's turn, and he's just hiding under the table, scared, bleating away. Um, so now it's the Hooded Fugger's turn, and you see this hooded figure takes off his hood and oh. drops his cloak... And you see standing there uh, a giant brown bear. Oh my god. Wait. What? <laughs> As it's Ermin's turn. Okay, um, let's talk a couple of things. So, how far are Nelly and Kai? So, when I do this, it says three shrit. I have no idea what that means. Is that feet? Oh, I don't know why it says shrit. Um,. It's basically each square is about five foot. So three shrit, let's say that's 15 feet. It's um, sheep feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Noted>. <laughs> In that case, can I walk over to... Can I basically walk onto the table? So between these two wolves. Uh, this wolf next to you will get an attack of... Um... Are you walking away from that wolf? No, like diagonally into right between them. So, like, uh, um, sure. How do I move my character? Hold on. You should just be able to uh, click and move him with the right mouse. Uh, it's not working. One second. Le left. Ah, uh, yeah, left click. There sorry. And now don't that listen I'm to me. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I'm here, I'm gonna use thunderclap. So uh, let me pull that up. How do I get it to show up on the chat log? Oh my god! Uh, you should just click it in D and D Beyond. Is it a DC save or is it one you have to roll for? Uh, so every creature within range, which is the range area is five feet, has to do a constitution saving throw. Okay, so the wolves will do this then. Let me just roll it one second. Uh, I, uh, so that's right, I've got to roll it. So they, they've got to roll to see if they save or not. What was it? Was it, um, was it dex, was it, or con constitution? Yeah. Okay, it's so rhetoric rhetorical wolf is going to do a con saving throw. And he rolls a 12. Is a 12 a save or? No. 14 is, is your target. 
14. Okay, so he fails. And the other wolf is going to roll. And he rolls a 13. So they both fail. So if you want to roll for damage. Oh my god, I just forgot something. I've just forgotten I get an extra attack. Because I'm level 5. <laughs> god well, sake. The, the damage is... is um... It's already in the chat log. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, thunder damage nine. Cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, but hold on. If it's nine, is nine for both of them? Wait, so yeah, because they both they both failed. Ah, noted. Like I was wondering whether they would have to do a one d six each. Uh, no. Okay, uh, that's awesome. fine. Sorry, I'm a noob. <laughs> no, no, you're completely fine, mate. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Uh, you need me to tell you whose turn it is next. Uh, so it's now Guz's turn. And Guz is going to take another swing at you, Kai, as you are standing right next to him. Bonk flashbacks. <laughs> so he's going to swing with you. At, he's going to string at you with his great axe. Mm. And he rolled a 15. Unfortunately, he only makes a glancing blow off the side of my shield. Wow, your AC is a good one. Mm. Uh, as we move to Nelly's turn. May the Dawn Father take you. Uh, right, I will cast uh, Sacred Flame again. Uh, I will be casting it on the... Uh, I'll be casting it on Guz again, because I feel like he is our biggest threat. Although that bear is just ominous, so I'm just a bit... <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the bear because I feel like we could talk to the bear, and it's not really approached or attacked on its turn. So uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be casting Sacred Flame onto Guz. Uh, it's coming at you like the way of Patrick right now. There you go. Your saving throw is 15, sir. A Dex. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, he failed. Uh, 16 damage, please. Yep. Uh, that's it for me for the moment. Until my fellow companions need me. <laughs> so it's now the rhetorical wolf's turn, who is nipping at you. But he has noticed slightly that you have stepped away from the wolf. So while he's taking a nip at you, he is realizing that your the wolf may be unprotected at the minute I mean the sheep. Uh, but he yep and the sheep's unprotected as well um <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna go for a bite and he got a 20. on me on the yep sheep. oh oh no no sorry on on ermin yeah that hits Oof. yep um so I need you to please take a six piercing damage. And then can you do a strength saving throw, please? That's like the worst possible thing. <laughs> got this. You got this. Uh, so uh, how did you roll three there? I have no clue. I just pressed... Um... Strength saving through. <laughs> um, do you want to try that again? Because you rolled a seven, a twelve, and a nine for some reason. Yeah, now we only did one. I have no clue what happened. No worries. Okay. Good lad. Good lad. That's fine. You only rolled an eight. Otherwise, um, why is Bessie Wolf gaining health now? What's going on? Um. This is going well. <laughs> Foundry's just doing something in the background. Uh, so now it's the brown bear's turn. Um, and he's coming over here and he's going for the nearest one to him, obviously. So he's going to take a huge swipe with his claws uh, at Kai. Attacking with... Uh, it's just 14, though. I managed to sidestep the big swipe. Awesome. As he now comes in with his left hand as part of a multi-attack. 
Uh, that one is a 20, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Can I can I cast resistance before that hit lands? Uh, read that one out to me. So you touch one willing creature once before the spell ends. The target can roll one d4 to add the number roll to one saving throw of its choice. Uh, and the casting time is, is one action, but it's also cast at will. Yeah, that's for a saving action. This is his uh, AC. Okay. So not in this case, but good to remember for, for future attempts. Okay. Uh, can you take 10 slashing damage, please? Um, yeah. As he's now looming above you. Uh, and it's now the upbeat wolf's turn. I don't know what's going on now, because it's now not telling you whose turn it is. Uh, the upbeat wolf is the one that's attacking Guz. Um, and he goes into Guz for a bite. Uh, and he's going in for a uh, 14, which on Guz hits. So we'll get some damage rolling, and he rolls, Jesus, seven bite damage. <laughs> yes, little pup. Um, cool. And it's then the turn of the enterprising wolf, who is still attacking Ermin. Uh, but again, is smelling sheep and is kind of getting a bit distracted by you and realizing that you might not be with the sheep. Uh, so he's going to come at you um, in for a bite. And that is a 14. That also hits. Oof. So he's coming in for his damage. Which is 8 piercing damage. Yes, sir. Do I roll strength again? Yes, please. And that is a nine. So unfortunately, sir, you have now been knocked prone and are now um, lying on the table. And the wolf is now starting to sort of walk up on you uh, and is almost looming directly over you. As we move to Kai's turn. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> OK, uh, I now that I remember, I have two attacks in a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to um, have another attack at Guz uh, with Bob Warhammer. Yep. Oof, a 12. Afraid that does not hit him with his hide armor. Oh, no. Well, we're going to take another swing then because we get two attacks. Oof, even worse. Missed him twice. Um, okay, I have a bonus action I would love to take. Please and thank yep. you. Um, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Erwin. Much what does Sanctuary do for us? Uh, it should have just appeared on the screen. Uh, you ward a creature within range against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature must, uh, with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. And on a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack. Okay, interesting. So, I'm protecting Ermin with that. Nice. And that's the end of my turn. Awesome, thank you. It's Fenthe Shinebright's turn. Uh, now, realising that you've kind of now been knocked under the table, uh, knocked onto the table, he doesn't really feel very safe with you, so he's going to kind of run out and hide behind uh, Big Nelly, which the two wolves have noticed him do. Okay, so while I am prone, uh, I can still use my cantrip without moving, right? Uh, what cantrip, sorry? Uh, thunderclap again. So I suppose... Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I suppose why not, yeah. Awesome, so I just, yeah, just clap my hands in front of that wolf and just cast it again. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Uh, so was it a con saving throw, was it? Correct, DC 14. Uh, saving throw, normal. Yeah, that came out as a 15. So you, you've gone to clap 
uh, for this wolf. Uh, but unfortunately, he's he's loomed so far over you that you've not been able to manage to to succeed in your in completing your clap. Excellent. It is a five feet radius, so I believe the other wolf also has to make a save. Yeah. All right then. Um. I mean, he got, he got an eighteen, so. So that was a big fail. <laughs> um, do I still have movement? Can I still move? Uh, you need to use half your movement to stand up, as okay. you are currently prone. I do that. Uh, and then yeah. how much movement do I have left? Sorry, I can't see my speed. Uh, you have 30 feet. 30 feet, so you've got 15 feet left. But don't forget, both uh, wolves are in attack with you. So if you leave them, they'll get attacks of opportunity. So and that's instead... okay, because you've got Sanctuary on you. Actually, you're right. I will just stay where I am, just up on top of the table. Yep. Cool. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Awesome. Uh, so, Gaz is going to use his turn to disengage as he's realized he's badly injured. And he's going to take a step backwards. He's going to realize kind of what's going on and that things aren't going his way. He's going to yell at the bear, bring me that sheep. As he then exits the the tavern do we not get an attack as he tries to escape sorry he disengaged no because he oh, used sorry. his action oh, to sorry, disengage yeah. apologies. apologies uh which brings it to uh um, has just had his turn that's fine so it's now nelly's turn thank you right um i will be casting uh cure wounds onto ermin which yep. is a touch spell, so if I just roll that now. Uh, and that would be nine health points for Ermin. Thank so you if you want to... Uh, and that would be my turn over for now. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, it's Messy Wolf's turn. Who has seen the wolf go? Uh, sorry, seen the sheep go. So he's going to come up onto the table, and obviously, as he try attempts to to get past you, you do get attack opportunity on him. Uh, can I? Can I fire bolt him, or is he too close to me for that? Uh. What is just read out firebolt for me? You hurl a mode of fire and creature object within range, make a range act. Yes, it's a range spell attack. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I will do that. Yep. Wow. So he takes 14 fire damage. Uh, does he not have to roll for a save or anything like that? Or is it just automatic hit? Actually, I'm just, I'm just looking at it because it says. You, you oh, it's because... Yeah, I think. Is um, the hit not yes. 25? No, that's the damage, I think. Uh, no, no, you're right. The hit, yeah, yeah, the damage is 14. The hit is 25. Yeah, uh, it rolled it well. Yeah, so, so that, that, that rolled then. Uh, that hit. Uh, and, yeah, so he drops down to zero health points. Um, does, I mean, does anything interesting happen when this fire bolt hits the wolf? He just... Would you like to tell me a story? I just, you know, I reach my hand up, he's right behind me, so I reach my hand behind my head and just, you know, fireball in hand and just smack it onto him. And he just gets thrown against the wall and just, you know, fireball in his in his side and he just, boom, just like, part of wolf just <laughs> fly in a cone everywhere. Nice. Um, and yeah, wolf, wolf uh, just gets thrown everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're basically uh, so all is... covered in cat hair now. <laughs> So it's now the, the brown bear's turn. And the brown bear, of course, is going to take a swipe with his left at Kai for 16. Uh, doesn't hit, I'm afraid. Good lad. And he's going to come back with a swipe on his right. Eighteen. That uh, doesn't hit either. Oh, good lad. Oh, this too nimble for this just... This bear is just sort of bearing down on you, no pun intended. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so it's now the upbeat wolf's turn. Uh, and again, Kai, this, this wolf is kind of now looking back at you, confused, obviously, now what to do. He started to sort of think, what, what do I do? The guy who I was attacking is gone. The, there's this guy now who's... Seems all right. What, what, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to just, in a moment, as I'm dodging the bear, I'm going to say, get the wolf and then get to safety. Okay. Uh, so he's going to take a bite on the enterprising wolf. Uh, and he goes in for a bite with... 10, which misses. Um, and the wolf is still just sort of really bearing down on Ermin. So the wolf is then going to use his moment. And realizing now that he's actually free. And he's just pegging it out of there. Good boy. Uh, as we come to Kai's turn. That was the bestest boy. Um, <laughs> I mean, at this point, none of us have actually hit the bear, right? No. No. And sorry, the bear was a hooded creature, a hooded person before. Was that mm. correct? Uh, I mean, yeah. So he, he was a very big hooded creature that when he took the hood off, you realized it wasn't just a tall person. It was a tall bear stood on hind legs. Mm. I'm unsure as to whether to try and de-escalate here or to just attack. Because a bear friend would be nice. <laughs> all right fine well you, you know what we'll go we'll go for the action hero play why not um okay i am going to swing my warhammer at the bear i'm next to him aren't i yeah i am yeah yeah uh oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so you have swung your warhammer with all your might yeah and as you've swung it you've swung it a bit too hard and you've lost your grip and you've dropped it on the floor as you've swung it. Uh, uh, as you now stand there without a weapon in your hand. Okay. <laughs> then with my second attack, I'm going to try and hit him with the shield. Can, can I do that? <laughs> uh, give me a... I don't think you can directly. So give me a strength roll. Sure. Um, strength roll. Uh, let me give the bear a strength roll as well. I just want to like smash you're... him in the face with it. Yeah, you smash him in the face. Uh, give me a d8 for damage. D8. Yeah, no worries. As you've gone, I take it you're going for. The... Are you going for the face? Are you? I am going for the face. Okay, cool. Eight. Okay, you do, you do eight damage um, mm. straight to his face. Yes. As he then sort of, you know, recoils back, looking really confused. Um, and because the, the the effects of Speak With Animals are still going, you hear him mutter to himself, he ain't paying me enough for this. I like uh, that. As he turns to leave, obviously you, you would get an attack of opportunity, if you would like. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's he's me gone, he's, he's gone for a nah fuck this shit and is now attempting to flee can can i and as he's to to as him? he's as he's turned his back your attack will have advantage yeah no but i've got a weapon um <laughs> can can i try and talk to him if he's disengaging from the fight entirely uh you can give you can give me a six it's still part of your turn, so give me a six second what you would shout. Wait, why are you attacking? Why are you here? Uh give me a persuasion. Yeah, baby, you got it. <laughs> is uh is guidance still in effect from before? Because it was immediately before the fight. Uh let I me just double check. Let me just double check. Hang on. Uh, I mean I've rolled a one time use. Now. Yeah, no, it it's, it's like a few minutes. I think it's a concentration spell. So as long as I've not cast anything else, it's concentration, which I haven't. So yeah, you're fine. Okay, so a thirteen plus what is it? One d four. One d four. One d four. Yeah. Good lad. 
So that's what, <laughs> se- 17? 17. Um, and, and, and all you hear in response is him just saying, nah, I ain't paid enough for this. Fuck this shit. I'm going home. Um, oh, okay. But bye then. Fuck <laughs> this shit. I'm out. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, I could take a bonus action here, but this wolf is like nearly dead, isn't it? Could I use the bonus action to... I mean, he's the only thing left alive in here. I feel bad for this wolf. Can I just Wait. shout stop at the wolf? Um, as, as your last one failed, I'll let you try another persuasion. All right, let's do it. We Listen, we like wolves. That's a 19, baby. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I'm Dr. Mm. Doolittle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> If this is how the rest of the campaign's gonna go, I am fearful. Um, <laughs> so sorry, what are you shouting at this wolf? Stop, friend! We mean you no harm. Your it, master it has t- abandoned you. After he watching... kind of turned at you, uh, and, and he replies, going, Yeah, but I've been paid to get this sheep. You're an idiot, then. <laughs> mercenary, of course I'm an idiot. I don't know what else I got, to say to this wolf. I got paid to be turned into a wolf. Oh my god, they're not wolves. Oh. Hang on. Friends, we need to put down our weapons. <laughs> this is this this no, this is dark now. <laughs> As it's Fenethir's turn, uh, and he kind of nestles himself between Nelly and Kai again. Uh, and then it's Ermin's turn, who's now on the table with, by the way, one dead wolf behind him burnt to a cinder. Yeah, it was and good. Barbecue. one wolf on the on the floor. Now he's he's got his paw up. You know when dogs are like limping on three legs and they've got one paw limp? He's kind of standing like that, but he's standing his ground. He's, he's a good paid mercenary, you know? I was going to um, say, I, I love how Kai was like, Oh, we mean you no harm, and yet his fellow wolf is behind me, just like splattered on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> but they, they attacked us, to be fair. It's okay. True, true. It's okay. um, what would you like to do, I mean? Well, To be fair, I really want to talk to him, so it's kind of crazy, but can I can I try to just grapple him and hold him so we can speak to him? Oh my god. Sure, give me, give me you and him will go head to head in a strength check. <laughs> oh, strength. Why not acrobatics? No, okay, fine. <laughs> so give me a strength ability check, please. Athletics, right? And we'll see. And we'll see if you beat his. <laughs> oh man! Oh no! So you jump yourself at this wolf. Uh, he unfortunately rolls a lot higher than you in terms of strength. Uh, so you roll off onto the floor prone. Okay. So then, as a bonus action, because I want to get, I want to get out before he comes for me. Can I just miss the step away? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you have to roll anything for that, or does it just happen? Uh, I believe it just happens, but I'll cast it so that it marks my spell slot. Yep. Uh, and anywhere within 30 feet, just pick. I'll so just it's anywhere move within five squares. Kai. Yeah, I'll just move <laughs> behind the big guy. <laughs> Probably for the best. Uh, this wolf is now confused. There are humans that can talk to him. There's a sheep running around that he's trying to catch, and now humans are just disappearing on him. Uh, what the fuck is going on? He's, he's really confused, and he's in a lot of pain. Nelly. Can I just double check? Did, did the wolf try and attack after we spoke to it? He hasn't yet, no. But then Urban did then try and grapple him to the floor. Sure. What if we healed him? Do I do I even get a chance to do I get a chance to tell like maybe tell Nelly like offer him healing like try to offer him you know he's in pain. You guys don't need to do that because I'm already gonna do it. I'm already gonna do it. So I have uh, an action in combat called uh, Channel Divinity Preserve Life, where I can distribute 25 health points among creatures within 30 feet. Oh God, I so, love it. <laughs> I would like to give. Um, Kai and Ermin, uh, 10 health points each. Actually, how much health points are you guys missing? 10. Uh, oh, just so, uh, so what I will say is, is, is in future, try not to give exact, but just kind of like give, 
So obviously, in, in real combat, you wouldn't have, obviously, like, exact health points. <laughs> Can I just so jack out my know, bludgeon like... gloss? <laughs> <laughs> A so bit. if we can stick to like rough estimates, you can yeah, say like fine. a quarter or you know yeah, okay. things like that. So I'll, I'll cast, I will cast Channel the Affinity, Preserve Life, and I will split the healing between the Wolf, Kai, and Ermin. Um, so how much is the Wolf healing? So the the Wolf is going to heal uh, seven, and then Kai and Ermin will heal nine each. Oh nine. Okay. So obviously I don't get temporary or anything. I just go up to my total hit points. Yes. And as part of your misty step, um, why is the wolf not in combat for some reason? Uh, and as part of your misty step, I've also put you back upright as well. So you're no longer prone. Thankfully. <laughs> uh, update combatant. Just rolling around a dirty tavern floor on my white clothes. <laughs> uh, right, so next it is the enterprising wolf's turn. And he is now hella confused. He's now like, well, I've been prayed to do this, but now you guys, you guys are fucking healing me. What's your, what's your problem? He's sort of like muttering to himself. And he, and he takes his turn and hesitates, not knowing what to do. As we move to Kai's turn. <laughs> um, Destroy him. No, don't. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shout to the wolf. Leave now. And pick up my Warhammer, obviously. Uh, give me an intimidation roll. You got it. I assume you'd like to do this in an intimidating way. Leave Ooh. now! <laughs> like that. I mean, I just I just pooped myself a little bit, so... <laughs> and then I need to add... Was it four? Yes, please. A yeah. D4. Mm, it's going to be ten. Please, please. Ten. In fairness, I think I think he's now also thinking like with the bear leaving, thinking "fuck this." He's like, "Yeah, I probably will." Um, so the the wolf is going to go. If anybody, if either Nelly or Kai want to take an attack of opportunity on it, you are more than welcome. As he's walking past you sheepishly, get it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. He can leave. No, I'm in good. Peace. I'm good, thank you. Okay, then he pegs it out, uh, leaving combat. Uh, which actually ends our combat. We did Oof. it. Did it. That's it. As, well, well played. As, 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 the tav as the tavern barkeep sort of pops his head back up from behind the bar and carries on cleaning his glass as if nothing happened. Meanwhile, I'm still just shitting myself on the wall after a case, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go uh, over to the bar and just sort of rotate my shoulder a bit, you know, working out the kink there. And uh, I'll have another, please. The last spilled. He was already mid pouring it when he saw you walking over. Of course, he was. Absolute chen. I say thank you in <laughs> dwarfish. He nods his head to you. Uh, as as Fenethir sort of walks up to. to to Nelly, who's now for some reason sitting in a corner, um, just walking around, understanding the uh, what's just happened. So, in the aftermath of the intense standoff, an uneasy silence envelops the scene. Amid this calm, shine bright, still trapped in his woolly form, steps forward. Each bleat and movement underscores the gravity of his plight. Your intervention today may have brought me time, but without your sustained help, I may remain shackled to this fate. Noki's reach is far and wide and his guardians are relentless. He's got paid mercenaries and, and they'll be back for me. Do I, do I understand? So obviously he is stuck as a ship. Do I understand, you know, what sort of magic is this? Like what's happened to him? Um, I mean, you know that there are magics that can transmutate people into animals. Um, so you know, you know, you know the rough type of magic that is that is involved. Like, there's nothing distinctive about it. It's just someone should just, you know, turn him into a ship. Yeah, and obviously after your fight, you kind of get the idea that this Noki guy is kind of hiring mercenaries now and turning them into animals to do his to do his fighting for him. 
Um, can I ask, can I ask the sheep, can I ask him, you know, okay, tell us, you know, how, what did you do? How, why is this happening? I, look, before this curse, I was a beacon of transmutation magic, ensconced in a tower at the town's edge. My, my crowning achievement was my wand of true polymorph. But then darkness descended, betrayed by Noki, my own apprentice. He used my very creation against me. He gestures to his fluffy exterior. A shadow of sorrow fills his face. My days since have been spent grazing, watched over by creatures that, like me, fell victim to the one's power. And as a, as a, as a, caref, a careless mistake on Noki's part, he left a door open and it offered me a glimmer of hope. I pilfered this scroll that you're now using to, to talk to me with uh, and, and sought out someone, you know, a, a group of adventurers with the magical essence to be able to wield it and be able to help me. And obviously I found you guys. And as you've already shown you, you're formidable fighters. Uh, that feels like a bit too much praise. I want to, can I check him, make sure that there's nothing that he's not telling us and it's actually just a case of, you know, being betrayed like can i inside check him i guess you can inside check him just gonna roll oh well never mind <laughs> as far as you can tell he's ta he's telling the god's honest truth can i inside check him if you would like to inside check him thank you As far as you can tell, he's telling the God's honest truth. Right. <laughs> so, I believe there are dark forces at play here. I feel we need to follow this sheep or at least take him on our travels to find this Noki character where we can remove the darkness that poisons the land. Now, I'm going to just you? neck the rest of the wine, leave a coin on the tabletop, and walk over and put my arm around Nelly's shoulder and just say, well, if there's people that need rescuing or saving or protecting, well, I'm in. Mm, I'll just, yeah, I'll approach them. I'm just, you know, shaking my white clothes that are now just covered in dirt. And just like, yeah, yeah, I suppose we can, you know, I'm interested to know where this goes. Okay, fantastic. So um, if we... If we uh, band together, then we can we can get going, right? Get going. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this, right? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna speak to the sheep. Um, please lead us, lead us to where this uh, this Noki character is casting this darkness across the land. Uh, can I just also remind uh, guys? Don't forget that you know there's probably still people looking for us. I mean, we've sort of made ourselves a target, so we should probably be careful as we leave. Let them so, come. We have Kai's Warhammer <laughs> for protection. Don't worry, <laughs> friend. I'm a master of disguise. And I just pull up a hood that barely covers the size <laughs> of my head. <laughs> that's, that's when Kai's not dropping his Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> this hammer you speak of, it has a name. Double cream. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because it smashes everywhere? It also dropped at some point, so <laughs> Oh no, it's 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 elvish. <laughs> <laughs> As the sheep now just looks at you with a really confused look on your face. Uh his face. Uh so are you guys gonna wanna head off now? Yes, please. Will, will the sheep be coming with us, or is it just going to show us, or can we address that? Uh, he is. Ha he will happily lead you there. Oh, right. Um, let's, let's GTFO then, chaps. Um, just before we do go, I would like to go back to our dwarven friend over here. Um, <laughs> and I'll just say... Your, your new friend. My new friend. i say, I'm really sorry for the disturbance. Hopefully you'll be safe. But... We go onwards to help others. Yeah, as I exit, I just sort of like put the chairs back where they were, like just sort of look at me. <laughs> uh, um, and then is just there, walk out. Is there anything you can do to help us on our way? I mean, I can give you a chicken if you want. I got a fresh roasted chicken. 
A chicken would be fine, and perhaps another bottle. <laughs> the chicken is just like the size of Kai's hand, just the whole chicken. <laughs> I mean, any more of that coin you got? Surely we just, I'm going to persuade him. Surely, <laughs> surely, surely we've just protect your good establishment from further damage. Surely it's worth a bit of good favor. Roll me a persuasion. We know how that's going to go. 19. <laughs> 19. He's gone, well, I mean, I know they came in after you guys, but that was a persuasive argument. So <laughs> sure, thank you for defending my tavern from you. As he passes over the chicken in this bottle happily. And as, down, I, as I turn back to the others, I just wink. <laughs> if now he's just hoping we don't break anything on the way out. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So as you journey from the main road, a narrow path beckons. It's entrance hidden amongst thick bushes. It's a well-worn trail. Um, marked by footprints from Guz's pie, leads you deeper into the forest dominated by towering oak trees. Uh, the, sh the sound of chirping birds and distant rustling fills the air. But as you press on, these familiar sounds um, are replaced by the soft babble of a nearby stream. And following this gentle guide, you emerge into a clearing and a unique structure unfolds before you. 